Go. Welcome to Code Corner with Katie. Let's kick it. Let's see what's on Thinking Man's mind today. Does ADA require power operators? That's a great question, and it's one that I get all the time, especially lately. Come on in and let's take a look. I'll be basing my answer using references from ANSI A117.1, which is the standard for accessibility to help buildings meet ADA, as well as IBC 2021 edition. That's where the changes have come into play. So this screen is the reference from chapter four of ANSI A117.1, and it is saying that if you use power operators, then they need to meet the requirements of ANSI BHMA A156.10 for fully powered high energy operators or ANSI BHMA A156.19 for low energy and power assist operators. Power operators are a wonderful convenience. You can tie them in with building access control. You can have press wall switches. This is a pair of doors that have low energy operators. They also, because this is a hospital, have extra safety sensors that you don't necessarily need on low energy operators, but they're very convenient. They can help you meet ADA if you don't have the proper approach clearances on either side of the door. But up until the IBC 2021, they have not been a requirement. Let's take a look at the change. In chapter 11 of the IBC, they have a section called public entrances. And one of the changes that they made in the 2021 and beyond edition is that now they're saying that an accessible entrance uh, needs to be 60% of all public entrances need to be accessible. Then they go on to say that on these entrances, the public entrances, you either need to have a full power operated door or a low energy power operated door. And that is based on the occupant load and the occupancy type. Assembly occupancies, places like nightclubs, movie theaters, bowling alleys, restaurants, any place where you have 300 or more people that is assembly purposes, then the main entrances would require a power operated door or business, mercantile, and R1, which is your hotels and motels with an occupant load of 500 or more. There are lots of exceptions. So you need to read this section very closely. But basically, if IBC 2021 has not been adopted, or if your state or local code hasn't uh, have the similar requirement, then power operators are not required. They are for convenience. Anything IBC 2021, and beyond will require power operators in these places. For more information and continuing education opportunities, please visit Asa Abloy Academy by clicking in the link in the comments below. Please click like and subscribe to this channel. You can follow me on Twitter at Art Consultant and or connect with me on LinkedIn for updates. You can email code questions, katherine.flower at asaabloy.com. And I appreciate any feedback that you have, especially if you've got an idea for a future code question for Code Corner. Thanks for joining me in the Code Corner today. My name is Katie Flower, and my goal is to help you achieve safe security in the built environment.